Our guest today is the personification of beauty with brains. But mind you, there's more to her than just the pretty face. Meet Subecha Paul, breaking the stereotype by joining mechanical engineering, becoming the topper of the batch, publishing numerous research papers, cracking Tata Steel and now going to Stanford University for her masters, you'll never find a girl this calm in chaos. And today we'll talk about how did she get selected in Tata Steel? How exactly did she convert it into the PPO? And how was her experience in turning at Tata Steel? So let's begin. Okay, so for uh, Tata Steel, if you're a woman watching this in STEM, then there is this competition called Women of Metal, which I participated in in 2020, I think. No, in 2019. Uh, and uh, that is a really nice opportunity for women engineers to get into Tata Steel because just getting selected in that competition allows you to make up to the top 50. Then you get the opportunity to sit for direct interviews with the camp, with the recruiters. If they ever visit your camp, I took part in the competition. And uh, then when Tata Steel came to my campus, then I sat for the interview directly. Like I did not have to go through the few test round. So I got in their uh, interview round. Tata Steel asks a lot of basic questions. I would say for Tata Steel, keep your basics straight and uh, study hard on the core topic. Like um, I would suggest maybe manufacturing. They ask you from anything like thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, to manufacturing, to solar energy. And, and be as honest as possible with your, all of your choices. So show them that you're really passionate about your work and I'm sure that uh, you're hardworking enough. All the participants, they have they do have another competition called Mind Over Matter. That I might be getting the name wrong, but it's for like everyone. Then try to like appear in those competitions. And let me clear out the on-campus part. Uh, since mm -hmm. I appeared in that and I cleared the first till the aptitude round after that, I got to know people with weak eyesight cannot get a job in Tata yeah. Steel, which is very bumming. So basically, eligibility criteria, you can you just have to have a certain decent CGPA um, and a certain decent eyesight, which I didn't have, so I could not clear it. Uh, what are the skills required? So skills is basic of, basics of mechanics. Mechanical aptitude test. The skills were basically, you know, the CAD syllabus. So it was very easy, logical reasoning, um, beyond English, basic English, and just 20% would be from mechanical. So keep in mind, do not focus a lot on mechanical questions. Even if you get them wrong, you have 80% up in the maths part and in the logical reasoning part. So that was it. And the number of rounds were two till aptitude test and then an interview rounds. Uh, and the kind of questions and like I've just told you, logical reasoning, data interpretation, English and basic uh, mechanical engineering. So interview how to prepare. Like I think you covered it. Like if you're preparing for the aptitude test and everything, covering the basics of mechanical and then like also prepare something about yourself. Like the first thing they asked me was that tell us about yours and tell them about extracurriculars matter a lot. Like they, they are... I. From what I felt through the interview process is that they're not looking for someone who is very bookish, someone who is like, what to say, one, one dimensional. They're looking for... Basically, you have to have... All rounded, yeah. Yeah, practical knowledge of everything. Yeah. Like, from the kind of questions like, uh, did they ask you something like, what is your favorite topic and then ask on that or just... Yes. Ran they, they asked me about like, my elective was solar energy. They asked me like, why did I uh, choose solar energy? And I told them, and then they were like, "If so, is like such a blooming field, then why is like why do we still have to run on fossil fuels?" So, you know, I was very honest about my electives. I did not choose them because okay, I it might help me score more. So I got lucky there. So I could tell them that because give them the proper technical reason. And uh, I would say difficulty level wise, I would put it medium. Uh, don't get nervous during the interview because you know it doesn't help. Like if your brain freezes, if you forget the simple stuff, don't don't get nervous and just walk in with a smiling face and wish them good morning. Ask them, yes. like, may I be seated? And just start it off with a smile. Yeah, and it's okay if you don't get all the questions right. I all the questions right. I told them that I could not uh, like remember at 
whatever they were asking at that and uh, there were many things that i just explained on my terms in very basic terms like not even very technical i would say i think they asked me what is entropy or what is enthalpy and i just told them it's like the heat thing then that if i have a bottle of water at 40 degrees centigrade then the amount of heat capacity that it has is basically my enthalpy because we consider it zero at the zero Okay, that was a bit of a nerd talk. Right. How was your experience interning at Tata Steel? It And was what wonderful. What did you get? Get. Oh, the I think the best goodie I got. I diary share sometimes. If you, you would have told me before, I could have shown it to you. Best goodie was a diary that had my name written on it. it was, I just wants to steal it till today. But yes, I I want it. Yeah, but of course he has no chance of getting it. uh we received a bag what else did we get i guess the diary the bag and pen and lots of chocolate yeah those were the goodies and, and the bike what did, did they make you do like in internship yeah. what what was so it i think why i called it wonderful was that their rapid actions you know that time covid was like going on amidst the pandemic they didn't not decide to cancel it they only um, turned it into the online mode and i think that the hats of the entire university for like being so prompt about it and always keeping us informed about what is going to happen and not to worry because a lot of people you know were really hard words and the situation hit us and no one really knew what would happen so uh they basically a lot of the work was software oriented so they gave us different project topics and the asked us to like choose or of project topics that we had options of choosing our own project topics but of course it was not first come first served place yeah there you might not get a project topic that you like but it works like it all works in the end and uh, lastly you have to present uh, uh make up and present it to some of the i would say people in the panel like if someone will be judging your work and you will be oh you will be assigned a mentor to who will guide you through the project and help you with any details or data that you need to continue working on it so the uh, marks of the presentation and what your mentor says about you i guess it uh, helps you convert the internship into a pp my friend ayush here is doing a really great job of reaching out to people and helping others in his own possible way so please like share and subscribe to his channel and keep learning